after the ball is over, after the skein is done, after the die lots finished, and you are short just one. Many a knitter has made. A tearful and desperate call, pleading with their local yarn shop, go after that ball. Hello, Hi. welcome to the Autumnal Podcast. <laughs> Welcome to Pen, Hook, and Needles Podcast, episode 155. Where we dress dress autumnally. That should be our uh, name of the episode, where we dress autumnally. Write that yeah. down. I forgot to... Um, you didn't write that down. I forgot to put the right date on here. I just want to make sure I had the right... After all that problem, that I had the right um, podcast notes. If you see us pause right away, it's because I don't have the right podcast notes. Oh, wait, you sent yourself the wrong podcast? Then? Well, I sent the wrong date on it. I just want to make sure it's the right one. Because I was totally writing notes on that. Well, the, you can still write notes on it. It is... I'm going low-tech because apparently my... Yeah, it is. Apparently my... Um, yeah, it is the right one. Yeah, it is the wrong one. It's the right one. Okay. Apparently my internet connection is not working with my Kindle, so I, I have to go low-tech today. Anyway, welcome aboard. I am Marlisha, also known as Lady Fernico, just about everywhere, unless you happen to know me on the writer's sites, where I'm Marlisha or Shadowlight or Shadowlight. Although you've, you've been shifting to be basically Lady Fernico. Yeah, day. but not on my old writer's sites. No. I'm still what I am. So You am what you am? I am what I am. Um, my name is Talia. I am known Franciscan Gypsy, as Franciscan Gypsy, basically everywhere. On the internet. <coughs> What's in your mug? Indeed. What is in your mug? In my With God All Things Are Possible mug, I have my chai tea. Because I got home from adoration a little bit late and decided I didn't want to wait for steeping. <laughs> so, and then she proceeded to wait for my steeping. Mm. I am one sip. You are one sip? One sip of what? What should I think about that? This is, um... I, I barely tried this tea, so I'm honestly not sure what I think of it yet. This is Cranberry Blood Orange by the Republic of Tea. Yes, I am going less sophisticated in doing tea bags. She's slumming it. I am slumming it today. Um, and it's in my Franciscan Gypsy Designs mug. And I don't know, because this is kind of a Grecian-style shirt, I feel like I'm Wonder Woman or something today. I, I'm Wonder Woman. No. I'm not Wonder Woman? I'm Thor. <laughs> well, she was Thor at one point, too. Yes. Um, Although not, kind of. She had the power of Thor at one point. I, I had, I was going to put my tea in my Franciscan <coughs> Designs cup, but I want it more than it held, so I didn't. Um, we do want to welcome totally all Woman. new and returning viewers. We thank you for uh, stopping by to spend some time with us. Uh, we want to welcome especially those who have decided to join the group officially. Mm -hmm. We have quite a few this time. We do. We have. We are 25 members away from 500. And you know that means we're going to drop a few members because we, you said yes, that. Yes, but if we hit 500, we have some really neat prizes we want to give away. But so, then we'll immediately drop. Yes. <laughs> Don't immediately drop. We want to give prizes out. Um, anyway, we want to welcome those who have joined us officially. Uh, Sister Lee, who is Carrie. Welcome, Carrie. Bookish Stitcher, who is Jeanette. Welcome, Jeanette. <laughs> I love this. Nutty now, Tinker. Who, one, quick, one quick note about Bookish Sticker. She, bo bookish Stitcher. <laughs> bookish Stitcher, not Bookish Sticker. Um, Doesn't she have a podcast? She has a podcast. Mm -hmm. um, not the same as Stitching Between the Pages, who used to be um, Bookish Knitter, I think. Yeah. yeah um, and that's another good podcast. I do like hers. I haven't less yet watched Bookish Stitcher. I'm watching her after I finish watching... The episode I'm on for um, Stitching Between the Pages. Right. And I'm, and I'm on that one as well, I believe. I love this name. Nutty Tinker, who is Jessica. Welcome, oh, that's Jessica. Fun. Uh, Nina S.E. Nina, Nina Ace. Nina. Jessica's name makes me think of, like, Nutty Professor. But go back to, to Nina. Nina S.E. Nina C. Nina. I would Welcome say Nina. uh, Ninase. Ninase. Yes, that works. Well, no. Yeah, that might work. Ninase. Um, well, however you say it. Welcome, Nina. 
Um, and we're sorry if we butchered your name. I think it's nasty. It's a um, pretty way to say it. Endless Spinning, who is Jamie Lee. Welcome, Jamie Lee. Get your knit on 69, which cracks me up. Get your knit on. Yeah, Michelle. And I don't know, I always want to put two L's in Michelle, but she only has one, I think. Um, so Michelle. welcome, Michelle. We, um, yeah. We're we glad to have you all with us. If you are still in the shadows watching us, either on Virtual. YouTube or on WordPress or even on Ravelry, and you haven't joined us officially, Please do. We um, are in the middle of our Autism Awareness Cow Cow. We have a lot of Cow Cows coming up. And prizes, if you want to get the prizes or be eligible for prizes, you need to be part of the group. So um, there's some bribery for you. <laughs> and I'm death rate of bribery if you can put up with us. So, okay. Um, before I go any further, I do want to um, remind you that we have a thread open for this book. This is um, Designer Crochet. 32 Patterns to Elevate Your Style, sizes small to 5X. This is by Shannon Mullet bowlesby and the, the beautiful photographs in here are by Jason Mullet bowlesby These are wonderful. And I think we were going to hold off uh, finalizing giving away the book until we received our yarn. We are, unless it goes to the end of May. If, mm -hmm. I, think, I think if we hit June 1st, we should go ahead and pull. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, this this is a fantastic book. You can see the photos of what is in this book. Yeah, Jason the does thread. the photography. Mm -hmm. And uh, Shannon does the designing. Designing. Fantastic. So if you'd like a chance to win this, it is a crochet book, but it is awesome if you, mm -hmm. you, know, if you want to start Fair crocheting. Fair warning, uh, sweaters are pieced. It's a, just mm -hmm. how you know what you're getting into. Right. Because some people are intimidated by that. I think there's one or two in here that aren't, but most of them are. Yeah. And, they and have, some people like the control that the pieced sweaters give you. Right. Um, and they, they are charted and written patterns. Yes. There's It's, it's got... An index in it that is very good. They have helpful um, hints in here. So, you know, if you want a chance to win a copy of this, we have a thread open. It will remain open until June 1st at the latest or until we get our yarn, whichever comes first. Yes. Okay? All right. Let us move on to the autism awareness. Put this down oh, Mom, I found out. Um, remind me later to talk to you about stamps.com for possibly using to uh, see what's good to post office. Oh, right, right. Okay. Um, autism awareness. Uh, we have we are about halfway through, and I am just blown away. I <laughs> I love the fact that every time I get caught up in that thread, more projects come in. It just makes me happy. It it just I don't care if I get behind because it makes me happy to see so many people working the autism fabrics and getting involved with autism awareness. Uh, all the talk about ARC has led me to do a little research, and we found that there is an ARC here in Virginia fairly close by. I have to check the mileage. I have to thank the Slap Your Hands group for um, mm -hmm. putting me onto that one, and then also BJBJ BJ for um, confirming that it is. And I think it was Elvin Essence who, um, Elvin Nitz, uh, who told me, we were talking, she had worked there for a while in California also, mm -hmm. but she she's the one that made me look up and see if there was any here in Virginia, and there are, so it's good to know. We need to put mm -hmm. our one uh, local friend with a, who has an autistic child on. Yes, to, yes, we do. Uh, yeah. And uh, we need to write those names down as well. Okay. It's your job. I have no pen. Fine one. How did it become my job? It's always your job. No, it's never been my job. I do the technical. I do the, all the meet and greet. I do not do such I issues. I don't have a pen I can spare. I don't either. Yes, you do. You have one in your project bag. I do not, in fact. What, what's your, why do I have to give away my pen? Well, when I get a chance, I will get up and get another pen. I'm going to pause us so we can get because otherwise she'll just want. Oh. Okay, we're back. Okay, now that little Miss Spoiled whining, Bunny, Miss Spoiled much Bunny, whining did ensue. You should have seen it the was Spoiled terrible. Bunny stomp she had. It, it was sad. An adult spoiled woman should not sad. behave the way she You're does. You're right. You really should not. <laughs> spoiled Bunny stomp indeed. Okay, uh, we were saying that we have many, many uh, projects, and they are amazing, and uh, we are learning along with you. Yes, uh, this time I up. feel like I've been learning. In previous autism awareness, I feel like we've been covering facts, but mm -hmm. I feel like I've been learning more about societies and that kind of thing this time around. So it's been a different experience. Well, every time that we do this, we pick up more people who have family members or mm -hmm. friends who are autistic or Asperger's or PDD, uh, pervasive developmental delays, or something like that, autistic spectrum. Well, I really credit Flap Your Hands for mm -hmm. helping me, and that's a uh, Ravelry group mm -hmm. for autistic uh, for for people who are autistic, are on autism spectrum, or people who have family members who are on the spectrum. Right. 
And I had posted when I started deciding to put the proceeds of the Princess Kinjitsu Designs patterns. And I had joined them a while back. But... And I had as well. But until I posted on there something about Autism Speaks and the fact that the proceeds were going, of my patterns are going to Autism Speaks till the end of the Autism Awareness, I didn't know about other societies. Mm -hmm. And Flap Your Hands gave me some more information. Mm -hmm. um, so they're, they're a really good source. And then I didn't realize how many sources we had with our own group. It's amazing. Right. We do. We have a lot of resources. It's amazing. Before I go uh, into any more of Autism Awareness, I do want to mention that we have three co-hosts who are absolutely fabulous. Absolutely. We have, uh, absolutely fabulous. fabulous. We, Emily has been let out of the closet. Emily is Chana I don't Poole. know if Emily even realizes she was in the closet. I don't think she's seen it yet. I think she, that will come as a blow to her that <laughs> she was in the closet for, for two weeks. weeks. <laughs> yeah. um, so Emily, who is Chana Fools from Fibertown, she is one of our co-hosts. Heidi, who is a um, knitty girl uh, from Undead Yarn, and she is our co-host who has developed the Autism Awareness Yarn. Mm -hmm. And I heard via caffeinated knitting that she might be wanting to do that again next year, but I'm not positive because I haven't talked to her. Right. But um, that Are we cool. starting the rumor mill? We are starting the rumor mill. Heidi, we have started the rumor mill. Just no like, pressure, obviously. We, we love Heidi. No, we love her yarn. Mm -hmm. I want to know what that colorway is, Heidi, that roadkill. She, yeah, I she, want to know what the roadkill was originally meant to be, because that is gorgeous. Well, I think she said it was supposed to be an autism awareness based on the Instagram post. Well, no, she said not autism awareness. I know. I, I I was thinking that she intended it to be an autism awareness. But that's and completely was, different. It looks like Sully and... and it does. That's and, what I thought um, it was. Mike. Yeah. Was did she you write Heidi down? She's on there already. But did you write it down? No. I'm not <laughs> going to write it down. What do you want me to do? Write it down and cross her out? <laughs> Behave yourself. No. Okay, so we want so Heidi is one of our okay. Um, like that one and history book said, because this is uh, behaving badly. I do not wish to forget our last co-host. Oh, we can't forget Nikki. Nikki, Nikki, no, eighteen two two nine. She's Nicole from Nicolo's World, and she is our third co-host. If you are a member of all four groups, you can quadruple dip, provided you are a member of each of the four groups. If other groups accept your projects in their cal cals. We don't care how many times you do. And dip. to clarify, if you're only a member of two of the groups, you can still post in the two groups that you're a member of. Right, right. You don't have to be a member of all four groups. Only I if just you want, want to make sure that was yeah, clear. Only if you want to be able to win in all, all four, four groups. groups. If you only want to w be in Pentacle Needles and one other because you only have time for two groups, that's yeah. fine. But, you, you know, that. That's up to you. But if you want to have a chance in all four groups, you have to be a member of all four yeah, groups. Yeah, I just want to make sure people didn't mm -hmm. think that they had to be a member of all four groups to be eligible for prizes. And like I said, if you go somewhere, like Caffeinated Gert, Caffeinated Knitting, they just finished, Allie and um, Danielle just finished their Neon April. If you had had something in there, you could have gone ahead and posted in there if they accepted it. I'm pretty sure they would have. I know we would have accepted their Neon stuff in mm -hmm. our group. So... You get the idea. You've been around long. You've been around the block, as Grandma says. <laughs> Grandma, my mom always used to tell my husband when he would say things that she would kind of roll her eyes and say, I've been around the block a few times. <laughs> but anyway, going back to um, autism awareness. Okay, so we have our co-host. The projects must be knitted or crocheted, and they must be at least approximately 75% um, brightly colored. Um they can be started at any time, but they must be worked on during the April through June time frame. They don't have to be finished. They just have to be worked on. Mm -hmm. um, we don't, uh, let's see. You have one whip photo per project per week, one FO per project, unless it is one of George's two autism awareness patterns, the Braided Bright or the Rainbow Cow. Or uh, if it is worked in. I'm getting there. Um, but which, I want to rush you. No. Um, Victoria Blues. I'm getting to that. See, I thought you needed help. I do not, in fact. I'll drink my tea. Do that. <laughs> Keep your mouth occupied. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> Georgia's two patterns get uh, two chances to win per finished object. Uh, anything done in Heidi's Undead Yarn Autism Awareness Only will get two FO chances. For if you have a, if I do a shawl in that yarn, that's <laughs> Heidi's uh, undead yarn in her autism awareness colorway gets two chances for it. But if you use it like where you have it as a main color, because you said only. Like no, I, I meant, had other colors with no, no, the bunny. No, 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 no. I meant I meant that. Um, 
for her FO only, not for the color only. The FO only, not her whips. Oh, okay. Um, so, okay. Sometimes we need to clarify. She's confusing the issue. Anyway, I think I made it more clear. Victoria Blue's uh, lovely mitts, her um, mm -hmm. autism awareness puzzle pieces mitts, if you do those, those get uh, two chances for a prize for the finished object. So you have a lot of chances for prizes. I'm not going to go over the uh, the prizes again, except we have like 20 prizes. And we have lovely, oh my gosh, we have the donors I will go over. We have um, Anastasia Zatel, Silver Shed, uh, Knitting Dan, an anonymous donor. And Knitting Dan is also Kiki Boo Bags. Right, Kiki Boo Bags. Um, Debbie Jackson. Um, I'm sorry, I smile every single time I hear Debbie Jackson because yes. I hear my head, Daniel Jackson. And we've donated some stuff. Heidi, our co-host, has donated um, a, to, well, she's donated from her. I'm not going to go into what it is. Um, and Fibertown, uh, Emily Chain of Pools has also donated. And Avi Designs, who is our own Jan, mm -hmm. she um, has also, we saw last night, uh, last night, <laughs> last podcast, but she donated. And, uh, and I know some of y'all were drooling over the tea things. Yes, the tea things. And we, I put, I did answer um, how you can get a hold of that um, in one of the threads. Just take, I think it was the last um, podcast thread to made asked, and I, and I told you how to get a hold of her. It's uh, Avi Designs on Etsy. Okay, now autism words. I did pick up a couple of facts very briefly. I know um, we're actually going to get to facts yes. this time. Autistic spectrum disorders, um, they're, they're similar to but not necessarily the same as regular autism. Autism can be, is more severe. Mm -hmm. There's la severe language delays with autism. Sometimes they don't have any language at all. Um, a lot of the uh, Asperger's and PDD, uh, potentially the PDD, the pervasive, pervasive developmental delay disorder, um, they have perhaps delayed, but their language is pretty good. Uh, um, they, I sometimes forget how literal because yes, they are literal. Um, I will pick on Davina like I will, and I say pick on the way I'll pick on anyone else. Like Season I'll it. tease. Um, I have a very mean, um, mean, cruel, teasing sense of humor. Cruel. Um, a little bit dry. Um, mean, <laughs> and Davina doesn't always get that it's. She cries little Davina tears. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Don't let people think that I'm actually making Davina cry. She will get upset, though. Yes, she will. Um, and then she'll try to claim, she'll try to back off on it and claim that she's uh, teasing. But you could tell by the tone that it's not. Well, she, she, once she understands, she's okay with it. And you, yeah. She's gotten a lot better because she's had to. Um, I think that some people feel that an Asperger's or an autistic spectrum uh, disorder, a person with this, doesn't progress, mm -hmm. they do. They might not ever get to a point that we consider quote unquote normal, but they do progress. And she is learning about humor because our family has a very, I want to say sarcasticness. Quirky. Yeah, we we jab at each other. It's not it's not mean or anything like that. We mm -hmm. just tease each other a lot. And she's learning about that. She's learning it's still something that she has to be told. And when she tries it herself, she does try herself. It doesn't always work. No, it doesn't. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it comes off as mean. Yeah. Or sometimes she gets into trouble because she because she um, doesn't quite get it. But she's learning, and that's good. Um, children and adults with Asperger's um, can be really mildly affected. And I'm going to show you a book in a minute of one of those people um, who is very mildly affected by it. And they can live, you know, lives where they're on their own, some of them. Davina never will probably, but she doesn't just have Asperger's. She mm -hmm. has some other things. Um, a lot of the people seem like, we might term them quirky or odd. They they have their own way of looking at things. Their own way of, Everybody does, but off the norm. I think I, I heard that one of the um, our pediatricians might actually be Asperger, have oh, really? Asperger's. Yeah. And he's very good, very detail oriented. Everybody loves him. Yeah, I, I've heard. That I'm not be, sure that if, would be very extremely because. Well, like I said, I'm not sure if that's other people diagnosing him, right? Or if that's truly a diagnosis. Because you have to be able to put yourself in other people's shoes, and I'm not sure exactly how much an autistic, or I know an autistic person, but Aspergers. I'm not sure how much they can do that. Mm -hmm. um, I guess it depends on the level. Yeah, and anyone who has Asperger's in our group, or who maybe knows someone high-functioning 
Asperger's. So there's so many different levels. Um, I would like to know because Davina is high, moderate, moderate to high functioning Asperger's. She's average intelligence, or above average intelligence, but she has developmental delays and that thing. So I'm not quite sure um, where she would be if she didn't have those delays. Yeah, because the developmental delays, I think, are a lot of times what we're dealing with. Right. Um, Although the an inability to put herself in somebody else's shoes is definitely an autism. Although how spectrum. much of that is developmental on top of that? No, because yeah, you're at certain levels but of she, developmental. But her developmental is not that far. She's not right. a five year old or two year old or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, she's more like a teenager, ten year old or twelve year old or something like yeah. that sometimes. Because I know sometimes if you look at it, it's who's a Piaget. Yeah. Um, I can't remember all my pediatric. Well, uh, if we're going to go into psychology, you need to give me warnings so I can brush up again. Um. I, I so never know. I'll throw, I'll throw it back at it, Heidi, again. Because She's, it's young. No, young is something else. Jung. Jung is something else. Jung. It's Jung. Piaget. I can't remember the other guy. But one of them does the developmental. Um, this is like eons ago that I looked at this stuff. Um, well, we'll look it up and, and do it next time. But because there are developmental stages where. Oh, yeah. And those, Heidi talked about that. She talked yeah. about parallel play and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I'm aware of that. I just can't remember the person offhand. Um, autistic people, autistic spectrum, not autistic spectrum, truly autistic people, a lot of times don't care if they fit in or not. I can remember reading case studies, and I may have said this before, case studies when I was in special ed about the severe, more severe autistic who, you know, there was one kid who could not get started until he plugged himself in the wall. You know, he didn't obviously have a plug, but plug themselves in the wall, you know, or they don't talk, you know, they, they just, in their own, really in their own world. Asperger's want to fit in, but they oftentimes don't know, don't know how. Mm -hmm. um, and the, probably the best uh, way I've seen it depicted on screen has been Gary. Gary from, um, yeah, from um, Alphas. Alphas. Mm -hmm. I think he was a really good representation. And I liked the way they handled it is that his, what we call tips. Yeah were actually his cycling through his ability. His ability was to access the Internet. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine to be able to oh access gosh. the Internet like that? You have to understand that this is, we're not saying this is real, okay? This is a fantasy yeah. TV show um, where there's superpowers. And one of the characters, he seriously, I think he was supposed to have Asperger's. They did. Um, they never actually well, they, they said it was stated. They, they did but. state that he had. They I don't know if it was Asperger's or autism, but they were they they were yeah. very yeah. He's um like on some areas he's higher than to be, and some areas he's lower. Right. Um, which you'll see in the spectrum, but um, he would have the obsessiveness. His obsessiveness was I want to drive the car. I want to drive the car. I want to yes. drive the car. Bill, you um, gotta let me drive the car. And he wouldn't let go. No. Or oh, the literalness. Yeah. Uh, this is my sandwich. It has my name on it. But what if my name is Gary today? No, it's it's my sandwich. It has my. <laughs> it's a, if you ever get a hold of, I, I Alpha, really you I I wouldn't necessarily suggest all the episodes of Alpha. Yeah. But if you you need to catch the sections with I mean, Gary with Gary and who's the uh, Bill. Bi Bill? Thank yeah. you. With Gary and Bill, because you see a lot of the Inter interactions Bill. and some of them. Darn it! I've lived those interactions. Yeah, they're they're very good. It's a, it's a good representation um, on some levels. I'm not saying, I'm not not saying it's them. you know, it's, but and that was the other thing I wanted to mention is the obsessiveness. They they have very tunnel vision focus. A and lot actually, of them. It, it can make they can be very good very at very good at the things they focus on because they're able to focus maybe better than we can. Which leads to the author of this book. I don't know if you've ever heard of this book. Um, Look me in the eyes. It's very hard to for Asperger's autistic spectrum disorder people. Now, is that contact. across the board, or is that just a certain... Level? No, my understanding is it's across the board. And those it's of you who hard. might have it, please let us know. Yes. If you have it and it's not a problem for you, let us know, because we don't know that. We, I just know what I've learned in school and what I've seen And what's hard for Davina. Davina yeah. hates eye contact. She says it hurts mm -hmm. to do that. And so this is a book by John Elder Robinson, and he has Asperger's. And he even went and he did work with KISS, the band KISS, as an engineer, sound engineer or something. Oh, that must have driven him insane. No, he liked it. That was his, that was his obsession. That was his... But what about the, like, noises, the lights and stuff? I don't know. I, he apparently liked it. I haven't finished this book. I started this the first time we did Autism Awareness. I don't know if it was language that I had in here or what happened or if I got sidetracked or whatever. But this is a book about somebody who had autism or, or Asperger's and did fairly well for himself. You might want to take a look at that. Okay. Now I'm not, not finished I, the book. I yeah, I have not finished the book. 
I don't remember uh, much about it. So I'm saying, you know, you might want to take it maybe from the library before you buy it and see what How you think. How old is it, Mom? This book, Kathy um, told me about this book. Oh, this because I thought Kathy told us about a different book. Or maybe, what, maybe it was a different book. I don't remember. Anyway, this is, this copyright is 2007. We weren't doing it back in 2007. No, but that's when I heard about yeah. it. Uh, I heard about it, you know. So it's just something you might want to think about, this book, okay? Look Me in the Eye by John Elder Robinson, okay? And like I said, I'm not I'm not giving an endorsement of it. I'm not giving, I'm not reviewing it. I'm just saying. Yeah, because she, she has not I finished it. I have book. not finished it. I don't remember what I've read of it so far. I'm just saying that this comes highly recommended. And I don't I don't have a room to pick up another book. Okay. Let's start reading. All right. Um, let's move on. Okay. So we did autism awareness. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a little warm in here today. I'm comfy. You actually sweating? Yes. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. I give you a hug, but I'm afraid I'm making you sweat more. Maybe, maybe when I take a break to get my next cup of tea, you should get some water. I have some. Right okay, here. good. I might put some more ice in it, though. Yes, Denise, they do go away, they tell me, but not completely. <laughs> Apparently. What am I here? Are we doing it, Denise? Yes, and I won't do it because I know somebody doesn't like it. I won't do it. Um, I do it sometimes just because it's, it's just this one piece. I, I have a fuzz that shows up there. Okay, now I'm done. Well, not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so how many projects do you have? Even though I know we're going to stop in the middle because I'm almost um, done with my teeth. I have one, two, three, four, plus that one, and five, six. Well, that one should be on a different area. Okay, then I have five. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excuse me. Seven. If you wanted to do that in this area, you can. Because I have seven. Well, where do you want me to do it? Wherever you wish. Right, well, about my um, I am done with my tea, so I'm going to put this on pause. Mom's going to get ice for her water. And I'm going to get another cup of And fix my hair. <laughs> yes, and fix her hair. <laughs> we'll be back. We're back. She heated up her tea and got some ice in her water. Yep, my water is right here. Okay, good. I was like, did you forget your water? And I got myself a new cup of tea. Denise, it smells really good, and I hope it's as strong as it smells. You and I have an agreement on that. Where agreement? Agreement. 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 Agreement is not a word. It sounds like a grievance. <laughs> well, it's also an agreement about the fact that sometimes our teas smell stronger than they taste. And I am currently drinking red tea, caramel apple, mm. by the Republic of Tea, and it smells good. Yes, it does. Smell o vision. Don't tease them. Anyway, we need to get How going. do you know they can't smell it? We Maybe they can smell through the force. Move. We will be putting you on pause when my tea timer goes off, because I don't want you guys to have to hear me go, ting, 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 as I uh, mix my sugar. That's who we need to hear from. Ting, ting. ting. Mm -hmm. That's right. What did she win? Uh, a skin of yarn, but it's been over a month. She won for that beautiful... That peach uh, color. That, she, that, that, that beautiful sweater that yeah. she made. And ting, ting. Did you write Ting Ting's name? Ting Ting, we will wait one more week to hear from you, and then it's going to go back in the prize package, the prize bin. Um, the yarn that you won for the... Um, sweater along. Sweater along. Because I'm sure life got in the way, but... Right, but we can only hold it for so long. And I think, you know, four to six weeks is plenty of time. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay, so we have determined that I have seven projects. And I have seven as well. Okay, so start with you. Did you want to start with the... Um, yeah. Um, hmm. I'm going to start with my blanket, but I'm not going to take it out because I'm too crowded in here. I do want to thank everybody who has given me... Um, suggestions about how to deal with the hole in my blanket. I did do a log. I'm working on the last part of that dark green log that I showed you last week. Um, I think that I'm going to go with an applique of some kind, probably hearts. Applique, is that spelled A-P-P-L-I-Q-U-E? -P -P -I -I -E? -E that. Yeah. Um, anyway, I, I like that word. I like that. Op, uh, I, when somebody had mentioned flowers, I thought heart, and then somebody else mentioned heart. And I, I'm not really sure about the flowers. I'm not sure, sure how uniform I can make that. I think I can make two hearts that are pretty close together 
and I might not just make one. I might kind of do a little trailing thing. Oh, or that'd might, be pretty. Or I might like along one. the corner. Well, it has to go from where it's it, where yeah. it's at down to. And I I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I think I like the idea of at least doing a heart, one on each side, to, and then over where you know quite a bit over where the hole was, so it strengthens it. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate all your help with that. Um, you guys are great. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that a lot. And I'm not going to show it to you because it is packed in there in my bag there, and I, I'm just too crowded to pull it all out. It's hot anyway. So you've, you've seen it. I'll pull it out again next week if I work on it. Okay, so for me, um, in the Kissing Bunnies, Smoochie um, bunnies. Bunnies. bunnies, Valentine's Bunny, uh, Pull Over Bag, this was her uh, last sweater size. Uh, her latest sweater size before she closed the shop. I think we got some of her last bags before she closed the shop. I think we did, too. Yeah. This was one that as soon as I saw it, I was like, must have. Mm. And then I was like, oh, they're not the size I want. Please, please get me this size I want. And she, she was like, us. yes, you can have the size you want. And she, I loved her much. She, she spoils us um, rotten. So this is my spoiled rotten uh, sweet Buddy's kissing bad. buddies bag. Because I whined and she made it for me. Head buddies. Head buddies. <laughs> so... In yeah. here is my um, latest, is my design that is in progress. I finished the main body. I'm working on other pieces. So, that is the all. The main body doesn't fit in there, though. No, it does not. The main <clears throat> body is in my room, all stuffed and stuff. Um, so, the bunnies are going to go flying. Flying! Okay, my next one is my uh, spring thaw shawl. And I have to say that this is the name of my project, not of the pattern. There's a pattern out there called a spring shawl. Spring Thaw Shawl, and I, oh. it's one of the male designers. Um, I want to say it's Ron Strong, but I'm not sure. And you can check it out. Uh, it's a, I believe it's a crochet pattern. And I, I think well, that's the reason that it's crochet, at least. I think it's crochet. Do you like? The, do you think it would be something you'd ever make? It might be. It's got a, it's got a closed end and a more open, meshy kind of thing. It's, huh. it's really unusual. I, I might just make it. It's very pretty. It might be one that I do with the variegated yarn and then a solid. Mm. So I don't know. But anyway, the um. You might want to check it out. It's called the Spring Shawl. Spring, Spring Thaw, Thaw Shawl. Mine is just the name of my project, which is actually from the Scrap Shawl pattern by Anastasia Zatel, who is one of our donators. And doesn't she have an ad up for us right now? Um, or is it someone else? I don't think she does. Because we have some new ads. Yeah, we got there. a new ad for Hot, hot H -O -U -T, Knits. H-A-U-T-E. Hot Knits? Yeah. They have some really pretty stuff. Um, yeah. That was one of my big fails for a project. I did one of her patterns. It turned out horribly. Who? <laughs> Hotness. I, oh, really? I know I, you I did, Yeah. Um, I think it was hers that I did. Or maybe, I thought she just did yarn. Well, maybe they used her yarn. Maybe. I can't remember. I thought it was a pattern, though. But this is how big it's gotten. Okay. And maybe if I had used her yarn, it wouldn't have failed. I used an acrylic, and it ended up being ginormous and look, ugly and huge. This. I never wear the thing. Look at this. I mean, it's, it's already, I can't see how far back it is. It's more of a shawlette right now. It's so cute. But it's adorable. And this Davina could wear that and look adorable. Even even if I stopped here, which I'm not going to, if I did and I blocked it, I think it would at least get oh. about a, oh, let me, That's my tea. Oh. Um, did I do a third of it, maybe a third of it more if I blocked it? I'm going to pause for just a second. Yeah. Hold on one second. Sorry, guys. We're back. Okay. As I was saying... Um, I think that this will grow about a third more, maybe. I've never blocked this yarn before. It's um, my name is quite Rockland. huge, and I still have this much yarn left. So I've, I've got a substantial amount of yarn left still. So it's going to be a really big shawl, and I love the design because it sits really well on the shoulders. I've ma already made a shawl like this. If you go to my project page and look at my Zarina shawl, um, it is the same pattern, but it's in worsted and in acrylic, and I don't. I like the way it worked. I think I could have made it bigger in the acrylic, even though it's big, because it's so heavy. I needed it to to be able to go around more. more. But I love the pattern. It's it's um it's one of my favorite of Anastasia's. And um, well, that's one of I don't do a lot crochet that's not um, in the round. It's not toy, and that's one of the ones that I've been tempted to do on occasion. You and then I look at it and I'm like, but it's flat. It's really name. pretty. <laughs> this I get in. I don't do crochet flat normally. I want you to know, Shannon, that I love you, and that's why I'm doing your sweater 
flat. I don't do pieces, Shannon. That's how much we love you on this podcast. Okay. So <laughs> this this is um my Star Wars at at bat. At at it's at at bat. At at and it's from uh, Silver Shed USA. I think Mary's on my side for this. Yeah, well, I got Obi Wan committer. Ha. Dan. Anyway, this is um, Put his name down, Silver Dan Shed Mary. Silver Silver Shed USA. Um. Anne Brody, who is another one of our donors, and she's fantastic. Okay. Mary and Dan. Okay. Now. And, um, yeah, okay, we'll keep that one thing, that yes. thing between you and me, you know, that thing that I sent you that we're not going to tell to that yeah. other person about the thing. Ooh, what other person? <laughs> yeah, I, I think Kay kind of wants our heads. <laughs> We give you hugs too, Kay. Yes, we do. Many, much of them. And that's all we're going to say about that. Okay. Yeah. Because Dan's already probably saying, what, 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 Go back to your baby bells, Dan. Yes, go back to, I want good at baby bells. Mm -hmm. You didn't hit the force loud enough. Dan, I want them. How do we get them? Yeah, how do we get them? I think we can get them at the store. I don't know if we have them. I'll look on Amazon. Amazon might have them, yeah. I'm not sure if I want to send cheese through the mail, though. Well, look in the stores. We'll probably find them in one of the grocery stores. Martin's doesn't have them. We'll look somewhere else. Okay, your turn. Okay. I think I like this tea. Okay. It's a little subtle, uh, but it's, it's... You're not a subtle man. <laughs> okay, this one, I was kind of surprised. Like, I woke up... Okay, this was Davina's birthday weekend. Um, her birthday was Friday, which means that her, it was her birthday all weekend. And she tried to pull a, but it's my birthday, big eyes, all weekend. Um, we called it the condition, in her condition. In her condition. <laughs> it's, it's, excuse me, it's in reference to a um, gun smoke episode. Yes, where the guy was trying to get something out of Matt, and his wife was pregnant. And Chester. And Chester. And um, his wife was pregnant. So he couldn't leave without doing A, B, or C th uh, thing. With, because Another A, B, or C being chopping wood, fixing the slats on the house, getting the sheep, plucking, plucking uh, chickens. chickens uh, <laughs> because he couldn't leave a woman in her, her condition. condition. <laughs> so we called it Davina's condition. Yes. <laughs> um, because every time, oh, but it's, it's my, my birthday. birthday. Yeah. No, for Friday was your birthday. It went on all weekend. Yes. And we had to tell her that it is done now. Yes. It is Monday. You're done. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> woke up early on Saturday. Um, so that's part of why. I'm bad on keeping it on, up on Ravelry anyway. Plus, we've been having some internet is yeah. issues. And then thirdly, I haven't had much I haven't gained as much sleep as she I She doesn't could. get a lot of sleep on special weekends. She didn't get it last weekend for Mother's Day, this weekend for this past weekend for Davina's birthday, and next weekend... We're going to be visiting my parents, so she's not going to get a whole lot. We should get back on track. I look forward to the end of celebrating things. Yes. And we have Father's <laughs> Day in two, three weeks. We three because weeks. I don't get a lot of sleep when we celebrate. Um, because I was going to go to bed at normal time. And Davina was like, oh, you're going to go to bed at normal, like you normally do in the morning on Sunday. But what if you miss my birthday so dinner? I told her I'd wake her up. Okay, Davina, I'll stay up. Now, the one you have to stay up for is Daddy, because I'm not making Daddy's dinner. I know. Well, I did not look forward mm -hmm. to Father's Day. Okay. <laughs> I want super discount to go to the state because he always grills. Yes. So you probably get up easy on him. And yes. I made it easier for you, too. Yes, I know. Okay. But anyway, um, we, 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 we digress. Saturday, the whole point of it was I was actually up in the morning on Saturday um, because we were going out to eat and all this jazz. Um, we didn't go to jazz. We went, we went to the bookstore and we went to eat. And then we got we a lot of knitting done at the bookstore. We did. Um, but people woke, stopped us. Yes, mm -hmm. it was fun. Mm -hmm. But woke up on um, Saturday and uh, actually felt like knitting something complicated, which I haven't for a while because a lot of times I'm just too tired to think, which is another reason why I don't keep them ravelry as I should because what? <laughs> think? Think? Because. Think, 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 think. think. Because. Need a poo. <laughs> Um, normally I'm just too tired to put much thought into things, but I actually woke up and was like, man, I want to work something complicated. So I pulled out my fisherman's cardigan, which is a Sarah pattern by Jennifer Hagen. The Sarah? S-A-R-A? Yes. Okay. Um, and I'm using Barocal Comfort Chunky in the barley color. I love the way this feels. When she brought that out in the, in the 
was it in a ball or was it in the skein? I forget. When she like, brought, okay, when she brought that out, <coughs> excuse me, and I felt it, I was like, that doesn't feel very soft. I mean, it feels okay, but it really feels soft when she oh lifts it up. Oh, my gosh. And it works up lovely. Yeah. Love it. So, this is the, the part of the sweater that never ends because I'm supposed to be working it to 15 and a half inches. I feel like I've been on 13 inches for a year. She goes up to 14. The little elves come and they tink it back. And then... It must be because, oh my gosh, I am never going to reach 15 and a half elves inches. Or gnomes. I'm supposed to, at 15 and a half, be able to split for the <clears throat> sleeves. I'm never going to get there. Um, back of the sweater is here. Back of the sweater, right side, though, right? No, this is the complete, this is the actual uh, spine. Yeah, but I'm saying it's the right side, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because it looks pretty on both sides. But this is well, the, the other side. side doesn't really look pretty. That's just... It still looks pretty. I like the other side better, but... Look how pretty. That is gorgeous. Definition is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait to wear this sweater. And See, it's this so is what soft. I was talking about, Taya. These, where they cross. Yeah, Mom, that's multiple cables. Okay. That's one cable here. That's another oh. cable here. That's like three different cables okay. in one. Yeah. That's a complicated... Uh, yeah, it is. You um, said you had three charts. Yeah. Hmm. Well, this is... That's one chart from here to here. Okay. One chart here. This is the right side. Left... I mean, center. That's a different chart. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And here's the left side. So those are three charts. And there's... Within the charts, multiple cables. Like, this chart here has one cable. Let's see. It's actually about two cables for that particular cable there. Mm -hmm. One cable here. I think there's like three or four cables for this part here. One cable, at least two or three cables here. And then one cable. So it's it's not, it definitely requires some focus. I love this. My dad considers this like a piece of art. Mm -hmm. Um... And I'm absolutely loving this. I can't wait to actually wear this because it's so pretty. It's <laughs> I'm glad I did this in a pale color because I love, as much as I love my neutral, Vivian, yeah. in a neutral color, as much as I love my Vivian, the dark green doesn't really show up the cables for that sweater as nicely as it could. And the Vivian, if you're not familiar with it, is a sweater by... Vera Vermeke, is that right? No. Um, lost it. Oh, she's a very famous knitter. Um, Let me have the show notes. <clears throat> or on the uh, project page. Come on, guys. You know who, who does the Vivian. Shout louder, Patty. I can't hear you. Um, it was Patty, wasn't it? Who was Vivian. 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 No, Vivian is the name of the... And you just made everybody go deaf who was wearing earbuds. <laughs> Lost it. I can't remember. All right, moving on. She'll remember later. <laughs> What's next? Um, your turn. Are you? What bag are you in? Oh, I'm in the creepy llamas. Oh, the creepy llamas. Um, okay. and wow, she looks. It's bothering me. Let's see, sweaters. Uh, Vivian by You saw the teak. You saw the teak. Yeah. I didn't even have to look it up. It just took me a second. You saw the teak. Uh, yeah, that's the only pattern I've done of hers, and that one had multiple charts for it. And I did that as a new knitter because I was insane. <laughs> was? Because I am insane. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, this is very awesome. Loving it. Okay. Going to puncture mom with needles. Yes. All right. Uh, my next one is my stylish shawl project from the Shell Shawlette pattern by Susan Hilger. Yeah, and I, I was right. I had, I had done it before. Um. I mean, it's modeling it on my project page, the other one I did. You just don't wear it very often. I don't. Um, yeah. So you went ahead and you made another one. Well, I, I wear it when, when I have the occasion. When the occasion calls when for it. When the occasion calls for it. Where is my, here it is, no. Yes, in this room. This room right here. In my Funtific bag. Did you realize when you started that you had already made one? Yes. Okay. Because I got it off, I think I got it off my project page. Um... I didn't do a whole lot of work on this, maybe a, a row or row and a half, and I lost my hook. Oh, well, I'm thinking about um, it. I don't know if you actually watch us, Robin. You, I can't remember. It's like half past something. I can't remember your full name. Um, of the uh, Stitching Between the Pages podcast. Mm -hmm. 
I sent you a private message. I'm not sure if you saw it. If you're looking for something for your leftover finger and weight yarn, seriously, this is what the Diana's hat looks like. Because um, you had some left over from that shawl you did. This would be really cute in that black and coral yarn that you uh, have left over. I sent you a message. I sent you a link. You better email e burner if you want. Or ear burner. Um, you aren't going to write your name down, are you? You're going to make me write it down. I don't know who she is. Um, Robin. Um, of okay. stitching between pages. So Robin will either ear burn or she'll get your private message or something. This, I mean, just a suggestion. It's a very quick project. It doesn't take up very much yarn. Especially if she's trying to get rid of yarn. Yes. Or use it up. Use it up, yeah. This is, um, I still have, and I don't think it takes up as much yarn as a, um, um, socket, which is what she was also thinking about. This uses a very little yarn. I could probably do this with a pair of socks. I don't knit socks, but if I were to knit socks. Tangled up in something here. Tangled up in blue? Yes, it is actually blue. Okay, this is what I, this is what I have. Who got left. the reference for Tangled Up in Blue? Anybody? Are you going to let me talk? Yes. No, no. Apparently not. Wait, I didn't even have blue in there. I do have blue in here. It's my, um, Autism Awareness. No, but it looks like a completely blue skein. No, it's not. This here? No. This, they have a whole blue section? Oh, I don't know. Oh, this is my socks that rock. This is what's left over my socks that rock in the sky blue pink colorway. She really was tangled up in blue. I really was. Tangled up in sky blue pink from my Miss Marshall shawl. My teacher. Rem was it remembering Miss Marshall? Remembering Miss Marshall shawl. Okay. This is the um Now are you gonna give that last bit that last game to somebody? That little bit of goodiness of the Miss Marshall. Oh, I might. I don't know. Or would you keep it I don't know. I have the shawl. I'm not going to give the shawl away, so I might give it to somebody Yeah. who is doing one of those. I don't know if there's enough in there. I don't either. But, um, okay. This is about a third of the way through, and you can see that it's starting to have a shape. Now, Mom, it. does it widen? Is it Because it's a shawl shawl, right? It's. I saw the picture, but I wasn't very um, clear on how it... It's not really all that wide. With my river dance, with my river dances, I had to add rows to okay. it. Okay. Do you have enough yarn to add rows should you need to? If I don't, I have another skein. Okay. Um, because I ordered one for the sock head hat, and I don't think the sock head hat is going to take 460 yards. Okay. And if you need it, I do have extra. Okay. So this is, I don't usually um, care for the speckled. This is not speckled. I think that's why I like it better. Do you want to taste? This is really good. Um, that's what tea generally is. Isn't that good? Oh, I like that. Isn't it good? Yeah. So this is um, here. Have a taste. This is yeah, this is the autism awareness colorway that ha Heidi did on Dead Yarn. She has done a fantastic job with this. She still has this in her shop uh, for pre-orders, and 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 portion of it is going to Autism Speaks. And if I I need to watch. I'm not sure if she has another episode up or not. I don't think she does okay, yet. Okay, because I'm wondering if she's figured out. I'm gonna make her do all the hard work and figure out um, the Autism Speaks. I was, so. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm being very good and not pestering her, Heidi, 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 about her, um, Mike and Sully. <laughs> Mike and Sully. You know, you just completely rendered that statement. I know, that was my intention. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I'm, in that digression, this is my, and I lost my page. Um, That's because I turned it over to write on it. Sorry. My, it's, it's my stylish, um, shawl from the. Shell Shallot Pattern by Susan Hilger, and I'm using an F-hook, and the, as I said, it's the Vampiric um, base, which is her fingering weight of, um, I think fingering or sock, I don't know if she has both, it's fingering weight. I think she just, she calls it her fingering weight, though, okay. I think. Because I, think she I, does. I asked her about something for socks, and she's like, you can use DK for socks, I'm like, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> you probably don't even remember this conversation, Heidi. It was back when I was first looking at your yarn. I think Heidi just kind of rolls her eyes at us. We are her <laughs> resident heathens. So this is, um, that was before I started using nice yarn for, for toys. toys. <laughs> so this is gorgeous. If you want some, she does still have it in the shop. I'm not sure how much longer, Heidi. If you're not going till June 1st, just post something in the thread here so that people know how long you're going to be taking pre-orders for this. Cause I think this is gorgeous. And people, yes. if, you know. And I like the different variations you can get. Yeah, I do too. I mean, if you look at um, 
the project I'm working on in her DK weight and Taya's DK weight project, mm -hmm. they're different, and, yes. but they're the same thing. And Heidi said something about, you know, like every child with autism um, is different, just like every child is different. Yes. So this is my scientific bag, and it is going. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, before I forget. Yes. The, um, somebody asked, a couple people asked, actually, um, about the yarn in my blanket that had a hole in it, what it was. And I've been told by some people that it, I, I was correct that it could be a second or an overstock or something that just wasn't up to par, kind of subpar. The yarn was uh, Gloria Cannon, head, head knitting, hand knitting Cannon. I've this never heard of it. I've never heard of it before. Maybe somebody else has. And Cannon makes yarn, too? Yes, Cannon. And it's just the green colorway. And this came from Big Lots. It was two dollars a skein, and I don't even know if I spent two dollars for it. You might have gotten it on sale. Um, it's not. Yeah, you know, it's just. I I don't know what to look for to know if something's going to break like that. Maybe somebody else does. I probably won't buy yarn from Book uh, Big Lots again. Um, Once you've been burned, it's kind of hard. Yeah, to I'm not saying that you can't get good deals. I know people do from Big Lots and from. Um, I think Jenny gets Tuesday morning. yarn from there. Yeah, yeah I have and, good experience. And they may, and they may work just fine. I and just, maybe she knows what to look for. Yeah, she might. This is not a name brand. Maybe that's where I went wrong, or I've never heard of it. So um, I'm not saying that you can't get deals at Big Lots or Tuesday morning or any of these places. I'm just not going to go there. What's Tuesday morning? Um, my understanding is that it's similar to Big Lots. I don't oh, know I've never sure. heard of it. I, Nikki me me uh, mentions it a lot, and so does uh, Laura Smoot. She was talking to me about Tuesday morning. Oh, okay. Um, and Laura's in our area, so. Yes. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you that because people were asking. We'll go ahead and tell you your turn. Okay, so let me just get more stuff. Next project of which I'm going to speak is um, my um, tur not turtles, wow, um, frogs, very different from turtles, even though the turtles are called frogs in the Nickelodeon yeah. show by a bad guy who didn't know the difference. Um, an educated bad guy. Yes. How refreshing. Um, this is a... Um, with your autism or cedar bubble pill. Yes, a silver shed bag with my autism cedar bubble pill. For some reason, I keep catching it on things, and I keep having to fix it. Because I am, am very rough on my bags. Yeah, I, I don't throw the bag that has my seat of I don't just throw bags. I... I'm very rough with my bags. I probably should not put Zeta Bubble Pills on my bags, because I am not a gentle person with my bags. No, you're not. Um, which is why I have to get a really well-made bag, because I am if we have very bags, rough on my bags. If we bag. have bags that we keep and we like, it's because they're really well-made. <laughs> <laughs> and Silver Shed has definitely passed mm -hmm. the test. Oh, my gosh, she has. So, because um, these things get thrown around and trampled on. and Slept on. Slept on. Sat on. Yeah. Oh, poor Emily. She sat on one of her needles and drew blood. Uh, I she, haven't seen that episode. But she said she found something, and I have to look at it again, that you you do your needles, and it's kind of like that um, that thing you had on the needles. Only oh, for it's, the... But it's a case. When you stick the needles in, you don't lose your needles. You don't, it, you can't sit on it to, it, it's in is a it, Is it made of um, cloth? No. It's it's like a little plastic It's tube. like Lizetta Armoire. What? Lizetta Armoire one? No, 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 no. It looks like a tube. It looks like a, like a glass or, or plastic tube. And you sl you slide the needles in, so it keeps the needles together and keeps the, the stuff on your, your needles, on your, um, your circular. But if you sit on it, you sit on this, this, plastic case instead of on the needles. Oh. You, why did you finish your interesting story right when I was like, oh, yes, I can try to get to this row done. Well, why did you start it? You knew it was your turn. Well, I knew it was my turn, but I didn't realize it was in the middle of the row. Okay, so I guess you're just going to... Yeah, you're going to see it in the middle of the row because I'm not done down far enough. Oh, that's looking good, though. Um, So... Yeah, it's in the middle of the row. I did not realize it was in the middle of the row. I was... I think I was knitting on this during church. I still like that. And by church, you mean during the sermon. During the sermon, yeah. Because I have special permission from my priest, so I can actually stay awake during the sermon. Which, it's not his fault. Let me, yeah. <laughs> let me emphasize that. Um, it's because I work night shift, and I fall asleep like that. Um, she falls asleep standing up. Yeah, totally done that. But this is the night, sh night shine. The nighttime reading shawl. 
also known as the horse blanket shawl. Mm -hmm. um, it is the Gaskell pattern by Sarah Jordan. I'm using brown sheep lamb's pride worsted in the colorway charcoal heather. Um, and I am using US 6 needles. And I started this originally for the undead yarn um, shawl log, which I think is probably long finished. Oh, yeah, it's been finished for a while. A couple weeks I, ago. That was I, a fail for that. I, yeah, I, I, I'm lucky I started shawls. I don't do shawls. I've finished one shawl in the four years I've been knitting. So, yeah. Um, and I just didn't finish it this year because I didn't. Yeah, you're you're much more of a shawl knitter than I am. We were actually just talking about this today about different things that people have a tendency to uh, craft, knit or crochet, and I'm starting to branch out a little bit more. I used to be primarily a sweater knitter. Um, toys have taken over a lot, but I'm also branching out into shawls. Um, neither of us have ever been sock knitters, really. Mm -hmm. I've gone through phases where I've knit socks. I've picked up hats. Um... And again, I'll go through phases where I knit hats or I knit accessories. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to make it to the end of this row before I have to show it to you. So it's making progress. It looks this like this is the wrong putting side. Putting his arm around somebody. Yes. A um, little over. It's actually supposed to be this way. Okay. We're, it's a side to side shawl. A um, little over halfway? No, almost halfway. Uh, this is going to be a big shawl, which is perfect for a reading in bed. I'm really looking forward to having this, um, but it'll it'll be a while, I think. This is that's why you aren't going to see the blanket very much for a while because I really want this shawl. So on periods of time where I might need something mindless like the blanket, I'm working on this instead. Excuse me. Um, but. Um, I'm thinking I'll give it a good wash with some conditioner when it's done, when it eventually gets done. I hope to have it done before September, but heaven only knows. Um, this is a nice, simple garter stitch shawl um, that I'd highly recommend. It's a nice, simple pattern, um, and it's fun. I love the little ruffle edge, and... Um, the fabric. I wish I'd chosen something that was a little less horse blankety. It has like stuff stuck to it. Um, I'm not one of those people who likes the rougher mm -hmm. yarns where you have a lot of I call it debris, but um, vegetation. I guess is actually what it is because I always want to pick out the vegetation. I'm not even sure it's vegetation. It's like it's just straw and yeah. You know, well, that's vegetation. But. Um roughness and stuff like that. It's very scratchy. It is. But maybe the conditioner will. I'm hoping it will. Um, but yeah. I guess all I have to say about that, I'm almost at the end of the row. All you have to say about that? Yes. Because <laughs> life is a box of chocolates? Yes. And I'm I've sure, never seen that movie. I'm sure that you all know the reference. Forrest Gump, right? Yeah, Forrest Gump. I've never seen Forrest Gump. Okay, my next project... I thought I was going to finish this um, on time, but I was I got all the pieces done on time, but I didn't finish it. My wrist was bothering me too much to do that. So And by it, she means Tilly. the Tilly pattern, which is now released. So I can show you what I've done. Um, just I will probably mention this again later, but there is a sale for Tilly. I'll go through the details later on. Okay. Here are... The two, um, here's the two back legs for Tilly and the two front legs. This is the tail. Um, it's in my silver shed call box bag. Here's the head. And I'm going to have to stuff this more, but that's the head. Now, remember, Mom, a lot of... What? <gasps> I'm sorry. I was laughing because I was like, he looks at his neck. What? What's wrong with him? <laughs> this way it looks at his neck. <laughs> Once you get the stuffing down, it'll be fine. Okay. Oh, I hate the stuffing. Yeah, I do too. Um, you just sort of smush it along, but you get a lot more in the back. Oh, yeah, I will. Because it looks so much hilarious right now. So, anyway, that's the head. <laughs> Tilly is weeping. David is weeping. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I've just never seen that stuffing is terrible. It is. My husband is usually really good about picking up stuffing for me, and this one time he picked it up, and it was a different stuffing. It was very um, it's not soft at all. I think that it's meant to be batting for um. Actually, it's even more clumpy than that. It's just very, very. It's terrible. I only go with one brand, and that's what I usually go with as well. Um, here's the. Um, I can't. You've seen me on my tutorials pull up the brand. This is the lower body, and the upper body. It it almost feels like cotton. This particular stuff. You could probably spin it. It's this is the the muzzle, and inside the nose is in there, and then I have the two ears. So I finished all the pieces and started stuffing, but I wasn't up to sewing um, over the weekend because, we, like Taya said, we were very busy. We were very busy. And I wasn't going to carry all this to the... Um, Could you imagine trying to piece uh, the dog together, like, while you were at Border? I mean, Books a Million. No, people were talking to us, and, and that's fine. That, I mean, we would have definitely gotten people talking to us then. Oh, I know. People were interested in what we were doing, and I couldn't concentrate. And I, need, I think I'm going to use the tutorials to see how Taya's tutorials are. So, um, let me make sure I have all my pieces here. I can't even close this right now. So it's in my Silver Shed large um, haul box bag. And I'm enjoying this project. I really like it. I just, it's taking me a little longer than I expected because I had to slow down for about for 10 days. Related to wrist. She, she would have finished it on time, mm -hmm. excepting for the wrist. Yeah. So that's, that's that one. And those of you who did not finish on time and received a pattern, I do know that I sent the pattern to you. Um, if you that was not a mistake. Yeah, if you kept up, you kept up with it, yeah. Yeah, it's all, you know, I know you, the ones who got it, have worked on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your next one? Mm, let me see, I need to retrieve my hook. hook, 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 hook. There we go. Hook, hook, hook. So my next one is um, Obsidian. Hopefully I'm not in the middle of this one. Because <laughs> um, a lot of times my mindless ones, I'm doing while I'm doing something else. I don't always finish the row. Um, this is Obsidian Pattern, which is a calligraphy cardigan by Hannah Fettig. No, of course I can't be in um, done. And of course I can't be anywhere near done with the row. Okay. In your Batman Silver Shed bag. In my Batman Silver Shed bag. Uh, so... I'm actually on the wrong side. Do we need to get Margie Best's attention? Oh, na 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 Batman. So, um, this is by Hannah Fettig. It's Miss Babs Yazawood Skin in the colorway Obsidian. And it's for our sweater along. And, once again, in the middle of the row, um, actually, this might have been what I was working on during church. Um, I think I was working on the shawl when we were out and about. Um, yeah. 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 Cuz I was trying to hide the Batman insignia from people in church. So, it's crawling. It is. That's cuz as talking to do. Yeah. <laughs> talking to do. <laughs> talking to crawl like a talking to do. <laughs> so, it's looking like a vest, <laughs> a sweater vest right now. Listen like listen something Han Solo vest. would wear. Yeah. Curly even. Yeah. Midriff type thing. I didn't think he wore the midriff thing. <laughs> hey, you know, he's trying to be hip and relevant. <laughs> he's trying to relate. So, we're enjoying this. This is very mindless right now. Um, I do look forward to having this finished sweater. It's a pretty sweater. And I am actually going to keep this nearby because I want to show something against it. That's later. what I'm interested in doing. Um, who does that one? Hannah Fettig. Hannah Fettig, yeah. Okay. And I got this idea from um, Amy Knitting in Circles when she was showing off all her uh, sweaters that she had made because it looked so cute on her. Yeah. Now, this is in my Cloverbird. So the bats aren't going to fly. The bats are going to sit next to me for a second. This is my Cloverbird sock size or small bag. I had to have this bag. I don't usually use sock bags. There are a couple that I really, really like. And this is one of them. And... It is my Jetem bag. It's a small bag, and this has my, I couldn't tell if I was going to put this in finished object or not, because I ended up frogging the hat. And I didn't frog the hat because I didn't like it. I liked the way the pink one turned out. Um, sometimes I love this cotton. It's too drapey. Mm -hmm. And this was just not holding any shape at all. It was just flopping. And I, it wouldn't have made a good hat. It just, 
it was she liked the yarn, she liked the pattern, she was working out, mm -hmm. but she didn't like the two of them together. Right. So this particular, and, and it seems like it's kind of hit and miss with I Love This Cotton because I think the pink one is also I Love This Cotton, but it worked fine. So I don't know, it was just this particular skein, this colorway, because I, I made a shawl out of this, um, and it was beautifully draped wonderfully, and that's probably what I'll use this yarn for is shawls and cowls and things, but not toys and not hats. Because yeah, I picked up a whole bunch for toys, and I need to give it to yeah, mom or something it's because just, it doesn't work for toys. It's just not, it, it doesn't hold its shape. It gets all um, bent out of shape for another, for lack of a better term. It's a, it, it drapes. It, yeah, it's just, it's wonderful. You, I don't want a drapey toy. No, it's wonderful for things that you're going to wear, mm -hmm. like, a, like a scarf or a cowl or a um, shawl or even a poncho or something, mm -hmm. but not so much for toys and hats and things like that. So I did frog this. I will start it with another yarn later um, because I, I was enjoying doing the hat and it just it just didn't work out with this yarn so okay so it's my turn again uh, I already talked about that one there it is um, I actually worked a little bit on the jewel box cowlette which is Zuzi's Petals pattern by Karina Spencer I'm using the Flock Brinzonas a pack of Silk Decay in the colorway Malcolm and I'm making it to match Diana's hat that I have in the same colorway mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty so, this one is going to be in the middle of the row because it's in the round. Mm -hmm. um, and I am on a pattern row. I'm almost... Really it small. almost looks like a diaper. <laughs> if your mind works that way. Well, the way you were holding it looked like a diaper. So, it's going to be very drapey and soft. It's very pretty. And... Um, Are you going to be able to see the pattern? Probably not too well. Still looks pretty. It'll be nice with the hat. It'll be nice with the hat. Um, and then I'm probably going to take a break from Zuzi's petals for a bit just because I'm not much of a lace knitter. Um, lace requires more concentration for me. What I'm lo my plan after I get this off the needles is to, is to start a hitchhiker for my purse. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have, I have a lot of simple projects, but not a lot of things that will fit in my purse mm -hmm. right now. So, this has gotten to the point because I there was a point in time where I was able to work this just anywhere the lace. I'm not at that brain power anymore. Um, it is a good lace pattern. I do love the Zuzi's petals I own, um, but I'm moving away from lace a bit. Is that Karina Spencer? It is Karina okay. Spencer. So, and this is in my Birds on a Wire Plover Bird bag. It's another very good bag for mm -hmm. durability. It is. Birch flying. And in my third of our trio of bags that we get a lot of, this is my Knitting's My Bag, her early sweater size as far as I was concerned. And I have picked up a, a project that I haven't worked on in a while. It is my Friendship uh, Shawl, Between Friends Shawl, which is a Friendship Shawl by Kim Guzman. And I worked on this a little bit in the Adoration Chapel today after I um, after I finished my prayers and was just sitting there and I think I lost my hook. I know I had it with me when I came home. I don't know where it went. You haven't okay. worked on that one in a while. I worked on it today. I figured out the pattern that was keeping me. I figured out how to do it. The oh, good. So I knew if I brought it to the church, I would receive help. So I brought it with me. And you can see where I'm at. Oh, hey, there's your hook. It fell off my bag. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's get to my yarn. There we go. Thank you. Okay. You can see where I'm at. I'm making the X's at the top here. This is the, I'm starting on the other end, you know, getting to the edging where I, before I start to do the edging on either side. And this is like, like the one that Ty is doing, the sweater. This is one my husband thinks is a work of art type of thing. He would like me to make a bedspread or a tablecloth, and I think that that well, Allison makes... already put in her order. Yes, her Allison order. Put her, her order. Um, I don't know what she thinks she's going to do with it in Malaysia or wherever she is. I don't know. Well, she won't be there forever, but this is just. Well, I maybe really... she'll learn to crochet by that point. Yeah, I'm. I'm willing to do a Skype with her to teach her. This is. I love this, and when I look at it on camera, I just love it even more. Mm -hmm. I, just, I love it. It's very heavy and warm, so I, I have to work it when I'm not getting hot. What we need to do at some point is finish both of our things in this kind of color mm -hmm. and wear them at the same time. Right. And this is this is a shawl, so it's 
you know, it's not going to be quite as visually impacting maybe, but I, I really like it. And this is 100% acrylic, I believe, or is it, is it? No, wait a minute. Let me see. I, I may be fibbing. Um, this is Woolies worsted. Well, that's wool then. It's wool uh, lamb's and wool and acrylic. Yeah. I was going to say, it's not going to be 100% if it's Woolies. Yeah. So I guess it will block out some. Well, you don't really, I don't worry about blocking out with cables anyway. No. But this, I really like this pattern. It's, it takes, when you're doing the bobbles, it seems to crawl. But it really is a nice pattern. I think she did a fantastic job. You're almost done, aren't you? Um, I have, after I do this excess, I think I have five rows of single crochet, and then I start the sides. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know if I'll be finished with it or not, but at least I can start. I'm trying to get some things off my hooks yes. and my needles and things. So so I can start more things. So I can do more things. <laughs> yes. I mean, my sweater, I looked at my sweater because I didn't know which I was going to bring. And I'm actually further along than I thought. Um, but I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm going to get my hooks. I've been looking for that later. Okay, so it's my turn. It is. Um, oh, well, it's the one I'm working on, so I'm almost done with my teeth. I'm trying to make it last. Um, oh, we were supposed to, I did talk to her, um, who was it, um, it wasn't packing it, who was it, said that they wanted to see Ty's stash. Oh, only take a picture and put it at the beginning of the podcast yeah, episode. Yeah. We both have a huge stash of tea each. We, I mean, two separate stashes, stashes of, tea. of tea. So it's just, yeah, my husband just kind of rolls his eyes. But, oh, maybe I'll put in the tea thread. I yeah. might do that. Yeah. Because I have a lot of pictures from Davina's birthday to go with being in this one. So this is the um, GI Turtle, which is the Timmy the Timid Turtle pattern. Um, I'm using the Nipix Bravo Sport black and white for, like, the eyes. And then um, I'm using Baby B Sweet Delights. Um, in the colorways Baby Sage, Baby Camo, and Chocolate. And if you want to make a small toy um, out of... I think Talia, it's fully acrylic. If, yeah, I think it is. If you want to make a smaller toy of Talia's um, and you want to have multiple colors, Nippet Bravo Sport is great for that, but mm -hmm. doesn't have the um, stripy kind of colors. Or yeah. That. This Baby B is really good for yeah, it. Yeah, this is 60% acrylic and 40% polymade. I have um, no idea what polymade is. Some kind of man-made fiber. So... Here's the head. Now, I, one thing I did notice about this yarn is there were a couple times where it, I'm not sure if this particular skein for the green, mm. but, like, this was not at the end of a row, and it was already right. um, cut off. Thankfully, I, it was long enough, but I did not cut that yarn. It was already, they were, like, it wasn't, it was, it was, like, multiple knots. Mm, it wasn't even knotted. Cuts or something like that, yeah. It was just multiple ends yeah. <laughs> in the one skein so it might have been the and same. i had a point where actually it was frayed and i had to cut right um but i mean i like the way it feels and it's a cute turtle head um i am currently on the shell very nice. which is very cute i have not yet decided if this is going for the um booth where the proceeds will be going to the pregnancy center in december or if i'm keeping this one for myself um, I've already had one coworker who's been begging for a turtle. I realized I had one made already. I was like, oh, well, I do have two turtles. Do you want one of them? And she's going to give me the proceeds for the pregnancy center. So that works. And she's happy, and I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And the pregnancy center will be happy. And she's not telling anybody else. Yes, because she's been informed that other people cannot know at work that I am giving away, t that I'm selling toys. Because I don't want to start getting orders. That's not what I want to do. I don't mind making them and then finding that someone wants one and then going, oh, hey, I have this one. I don't want to do two order toys. Consignment? I'm, yeah, I don't want to. It's called consignment. I just, if I, because I want to have it, if I happen to have a toy free and it's not going to the booth, then if you want that particular toy, you can have it for a price. But I, I want it to be able to make these for my enjoyment, not for someone else's order. Um... So, I am enjoying this. I wasn't sure at first if I liked the light lime green in this, but I do like how it's working up. It looks very pretty. Um, it look it does look very camoly, which is what I wanted. So yeah, that's the last of mine. Okay. Um. Oh, wait, it's a. Oh no, I have one more. Go ahead though. Okay, my last one. 
No, I have two. No, I have one. Um, my last one is um, my hopeful cowl, which is the. We actually worked on a lot this time. Yes, this is the handbrake by uh, Kay and Dan Jones. This is the one where their proceeds are all going to their cancer research resource research, and they're they're making a lot of money on that. So I'm really glad about that. Um, I'm not in the middle of the rows, but I'm in the round. Um, but you can see how far I got, and I'm really enjoying it. I I think I'm at about three inches, and I need to ask Kay if when she says seven inches, does she mean seven inches from the garter rows, or did, you know the bottom here? Does she mean seven inches from here, or does she mean seven inches from when you start the pattern? Um, I'm only at about three inches total, so I think even if she means seven from the from where this pattern starts, I might only do seven from the garter because I don't want to, I don't like it huge. I don't like my head up like this. I just, you know, that's why I made it so long too. I'm enjoying this. Um, it's fun. And I actually did a correction all by myself without Talia. Mm -hmm. I still need to learn how to do the drop, the drop down. down and, you know, tinking back um, with more um, complicated type things, but I did it by myself. The stitch markers are, um, Orange jellyfish. Oh, orange jellyfish, I think, yeah. Is, this, is that the whole... I think so. I, 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 We had it linked in our last podcast, or the podcast before that. She makes some wonderful stitch markers, and she has... These are in the Autism Awareness. This one came from her Autism Awareness um, set. And I'm not sure if these are also her auto, a different autism awareness set. I don't remember, but I ordered both sets. And I really like them. They're very easy to work with and they don't snag. And this is in my Plover Bird. No, not my Yeah, my Plover Bird on my Baby Owls bag that Davina got me last Christmas before Plover Bird went out of business. She got it the same. Well, she didn't go out of business. She went on hiatus. Um, the same time Davina uh, Ty got her uh, bunnies. So, um, you may hear my husband. He obviously hasn't seen the sign yet. This is with podcasting. <laughs> so, he's home. So, that's this. And I'm enjoying it very much. Okay. So, the next one I have is um, going actually off of that theme. Um, this is my Silver Shed Nurses Bag for Nurses Week. This is her extra large versus her XX large. Um, I love this bag. So, it's very pretty. Um. It is also a Kay Jones pattern. Um, this is my project I called Hepchetsit's Gold, mm -hmm. um, which is a Messalina pattern by Kay. Um, I'm using Miss Babs Azawa Skein in the colorway Squash Blossom. Oh, and thank you, Mary, for the link to the Hepchetsit. I can never pronounce her name. Hepchetsit. Yeah, there we go. Um, oh, episode I on... Um, the um, stuff mom never told you podcast that was cool, and it was and they're interviewing the same author that wrote the book that I'm reading. Oh, that's so. cool. Um, and I'm also using the same stitch markers by the same person. I'm using the uh, orange jellyfish stitch markers, but mine have the little yeah. I have those as well. I'm just not using those on my thing. So it, I think it actually goes this way. And Kay, I want to do this as soon as I um, finish my. Uh, my handbrake, I just haven't decided if I want to do one more in between. And it's not showing up subtleties quite like I want it it's to. It's gorgeous. It has, like, slight air, like, little sections that are a little more yellow than others. It's very tonal. It's very, it's tonal. It's very lovely. And it's working out exactly the way I, I imagine it. Babs, right? She's good at that. Yeah. Um, this is where it's a little bit, it's almost got, like, an orangish undertone. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Um, that's close, but not quite. That's a little closer. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. That's there. Good. Yeah, that's Right good. there. Mm -hmm. It keeps, my it camera keeps adjusting. Keeps adjusting. Yeah. But, um, it's really lovely. And I am, I love working this pattern. It's a four row repeat after a certain point, And I've memorized the four rows, so I just keep going. I don't even have to look at the pattern anymore. I'm looking forward to trying that. I haven't decided if I want to do one of, um... Tanya Marie's first, or if I want to go straight into that, because Tanya Marie has a um, a pattern that she just put out that looks like it might be in between them, mm -hmm. in between the handbrake and the Messalina. 
Um, but I haven't decided because that's a gorgeous pattern. I love it. Oh, I thoroughly am um, loving this. Before we move on, I do want to, uh, the video reminded me, um, Valeria, I think it was, posted a video for me to look at, um, and anyone who wants to look at it, obviously, in the thread about the last podcast about how to edge um, cloth with crochet. Hmm. So I really appreciate that. If anybody's interested in it, it is um, in the thread. And uh, thank you, Valeria. That was very nice of you. Um, oh, and before I forget about it, I had looked at some products, and one of our members had done something with the Messalina that I kind of like and I might end up doing as well. She lengthened it by, mm -hmm. uh, I think it was seven repeats, and that's Julie No Jewels Jukes. Um, yes, she's one of our members. Yes. Um, and her, she did, she used Miss Babs as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm keeping that in mind. I might end up making mine a little bigger like she did hers. Okay. All right. Um, do you have anything else? Um, I do not have any FOs. Okay, I do. Okay. In my autism awareness bag, this is my Miss Babs. A uh, Miss Babs. <laughs> Knitting's my bag. Miss Babs is not do bags as far as I know. <laughs> my Knitting's my bag. Autism awareness bag that she made for us um, last year. This is one of her bigger sweater bags. And in it is my finished pebble. The tease also. This is the Bastion. He turned out so cute. The Bastion pattern. This is and pebble. here's the original, just to see its size. As you can see, this is in Heidi's um, Nitty Girl from Undead Yarn. This is her Autism Awareness colorway. And you can see there's more blue in this than there was in the other one that I was using. Yes, and I love that you use the navy blue for the beak and the um the eyes and, and the eyes and, and the feet. So. I just like I love the way he turned out. He turned out really cute. And look how much smaller that he is. Mm -hmm. This is the DK yarn. I look forward to seeing how my one in Heidi's yarn will turn mm -hmm. out in comparison because I think he's gonna be even smaller. He might be. So I really enjoyed. I had a good time doing this. I actually knocked the rest of this out in two days. Yeah. I hadn't had a chance to work on it for because I had issues with my hand and my wrist. And I sat down yesterday and this morning and finished him. And so he, and he sits when he wants to. He's not going to cooperate right now. I should just work on mine because I could probably knock him out sooner than I will this turtle. He's not going to, he can sit. He's just not going to do it. There he Well, goes. because he's on the podcast. So, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with him. His name is Pebbles. So, he's named after the cereal. He was up here with the rest of them. Can you see him up there? Put him next to Bastion. Bastion's got, got a little bit of a floppy neck because I sleep with him when I uh, fall asleep on this couch. Yeah. So I was happy to finish something substantial. Um, so that was good. What are we doing now? There we go. Um, where did my thing go? All right. Where's my thing right there? Okay. Um, He's hiding. Yeah, he is. It's hard to find a spot for him. Well, we'll fix it later. You guys have um, So, royalties. Ooh, royalties. Yes. Um, I play her. Well, first I'm going to show you the stuff I don't play her for. Well, hi there. Owl. Here, you can sit next to me. How many things do you have to show? I have the one. Mm -hmm. And then I have the buttons. Okay. Here are the buttons. I think this is what I'm going to use. That's going to be nice. Oh, yeah, it's going to be very nice. Hang on, let me t I don't want to take it out. I'll take it out. Just show them. That's going to be very nice. Oh, I think it'll be very nice. Because it, it'll catch the light, and sometimes it'll look very neutral, and other times it'll look really nice. So I'm very much into the kind of button that'll do that. Or she can just do this. <laughs> no. I am not going to be using that side. <laughs> I'm going to be using this That's side. That's really nice. So, I think I made a good choice. I think so. Um, I picked those up when I when we were at Hobby Lobby this weekend. Of course, she goes in. I want to show you what Davina gave me. Davina's birthday, somebody gave her flowers, and they ha it had this, and she said, Mom, you can have this, because I know you like owls. So, that's my owl, and it sits on my desk in my pencil, um, the, little, the little cup thing I have my pencils in. Okay, do you have any other? Mm -hmm. I have lots of stuff. Um, not Well, not lots and lots, but some. This is from, um, I was gifted, uh, Laura Smoot, who is a designer of very beautiful 
accessories, especially shawls and things, cowls. I saw this. She had posted it in our um, the little section on the sidebar, you know, where you see all the people's projects. And I said, oh, I like that. And she gifted it to me, which I thought, which I thought was sweet. And I don't want you to see the pattern itself. It's just a picture. It's really pretty. She had lengthened it. Um, you should check it out. She originally, the original version is very close to the neck. This is her light, her longer version. And it was very sweet of her to give it to me. I'm, I'm, I was tickled pink. So um, thank you very much, Laura. Please do check out her designs if you're yeah. interested. They're knitted, and she's very talented. And she's a member of our group. And she is a member of our group. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, now, this one I totally blame Mom for when we were at Hobby Lobby. I don't know what she's talking about. I bought another Turtles Worth of Yarn. That's what, what I'm that. calling them now, a Turtles Worth of Yarn. How, how is that? I failed to see how that's my fault. I bought another Turtles Worth. Just because I found the color. <laughs> And then found me the bottom part. So, here's the shell. Here's the head. And here's the bottom shell. And out of those turtles worth. I don't need another turtles worth. But apparently I do. Huh. So uh, I, I have a bad habit of... I looked for yarn, but my husband came back and started rushing up a little bit, so I I, I have a bad habit when I go to Hobby Lobby in looking in Turtles Worth of yarn. I do, too. I do, too. I'm not sure what it is about this pattern, where I always want to make it. Okay, I got, um, and I'm just going to basically say I had, I had some hooks and some, um, you know, basically accessory kind of things. But then I picked up one of these, and then Ty picked up one because I gave her one of my other ones, because these... Hook cases hold my crochet do hooks. Yes. And I was having a hard time finding, and they hold two in a in a in a little rubber band, not just one. And I put I put one and in the middle. And they have owls. And they have owls. They do. Look, we're Nikki. They're screaming her name. Nicole eighteen two two nine. Looky. Look at my owls. Hobby Lobby, Nicole. Hobby Lobby. For anybody who likes owls. So I have two of these. Um. Do you have more enhancements? No, nope, that's just Okay, I, my last enhancement um, actually is a holdover from Mother's Day. You remember that I told you that uh, my husband oh, arrived, yeah. had gotten me um, a Miss Babs uh, certificate. I haven't used my Amazon card yet, but this is my Miss Babs certificate. The first one that I ordered from Miss Babs, and they're all Yowzas because that's the way I roll. This is in the Pangea, Pangea colorway, and I think this might be a way it's game, a way it's shawl, but I'm not sure. Um, so that's one. The other two colors will look very familiar because I bought them at, um, I bought similar ones. I bought the same colorways at um, Maryland Sheep and Wolf, but I didn't buy enough today once. I was kind of weighing, you know, kind of watching my money. So this one is, I scored another one of the um, Zing, the TARDIS blue. So now I have two of these. That, it makes me feel a little more comfortable. So I can make, uh, this one might be a messalina. I think that'd be a very pretty messalina. Um, and then the third one, is in the Nori colorway. And I thought about this one for messalina as well, but I'm not sure. I think you should go with the Zinga. I think that'd be very pretty. I think they both be very pretty. So, and if you see this, I mean, I mean, uh, look at this. Yeah, I think we can kind of tell what your colors are. Yeah, well, they all go together. Yep. So, um, the blue's a little bit off the colors, the color, but not much. And I do have a blue that a blue green that will go with this. Yeah. So that's what my those are my um, acquisitions. Okay. So, any other acquisitions? Oh, I have this little mini skein that came with. This is a um, 10-yard sample of Yet Lace Yarn, 65% Merino, 35% Tulsa Silk, in the Bad Bat that is the, well, let's just say, oh, it's a Bad Bat. Sometimes she gives me the colorway, but this time she didn't. So, very pretty. Um, only news for Hansen and Gypsy Designs is Tilly Springer Spaniel was released May 15th. Uh, we've already had a few sales, which is awesome. Thank you very much. Um, there are, are video tutorials now for that pattern and for the oops pattern. 
Um, there is a sale going on for that. Um, up until uh, May 30th, up through May 30th, there is 30% off if you use the code Davina. Um, and that information is posted most everywhere. I might have to post it um, in the thread where you can eat more easily see it. Um, but, yeah, it's 30% off because it was her 30th birthday. Right. Um, and all proceeds, like with all my other Franciscan Gypsy Designs patterns, all proceeds are going to Autism Speaks until the Autism Awareness Cal Cal is done. Now, Tanya, you mentioned about Tanya Marie. I know this is not your design, but you said Tanya's design, her her newest shawl mm -hmm. is um, on sale. Is that right? I thought it was free. It's free for how long? I don't know. Okay, Tanya Marie, our, one of our members, uh, Sampler Girl, from the Sampler Girl podcast, has a new shawl out. It was free. I think it's free. It's until, My Heart, My Love. My Heart, My Love. I think it's free either to the end of May or the middle of June. I'm not sure. You might want to check it out. It's really pretty. Uh, I picked one up. <laughs> yeah. Because I have to pick up everything that Tanya does. <laughs> and it was free. And it was free. So um, you might want to check that out. Okay. Um, and I think, I hope that you saw the, the sale that George had. Unfortunately, he gave it, gave me the email. And then we just George. finished. And we had just finished um, our podcast, and it ended before we did this podcast, I think. But he's got a lot of wonderful things in there. So please check out George's um, patterns. He's 10 hours or less. Our very own George. Check it out, please, if you are interested in a new shawl pattern. He's got a lot of beautiful patterns. Yeah, he's got there. a lot of knitting. Knit patterns. and crochet. Okay. Um, um, autobiography. Yeah. I worked on the shared story. Um, read a little bit of First King of Shannara. Read a little bit of The Woman Who Would Be King. Had Shepsit's its rise to power in ancient Egypt by Kara Cooney. I'm also following Kara Cooney on um, Facebook now. She's posting different things about different hi historical things that are coming to light and that kind of stuff. She keeps keeps me abreast. Um, and uh, I'm getting to the point where I was a little hesitant about the book before. I'm enjoying it a lot more than I was. Um, and I'm trusting her, uh, um, her, her scholarliness <laughs> yes. a little bit more now. Yes. Well, she, the back of the book actually has a um, recommendation from Bob Breyer, who um, did my great courses class, and I respect his opinion. So um, I have to read his book on King Tut as well, even though his is a little outdated. And she's going to be writing a, a book on Akhenaten, um, a co which I found out when I was uh, – listening to the podcast episode that Mary suggested to me. And I'm super excited because I am very interested in Akhenaten, who was King Tut's father and the monotheistic pharaoh. Um, so I'm going to keep my eyes out open for, the, my eyes open for that. Um, and finally for me, I listened to the Creative Yarn Entrepreneur podcast um, that Heidi suggested to me. Looks like it's going to be very useful. Um, I can't wait till their next episode comes up because they're supposed to be giving some tips about design and promoting designs. So I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, for me, um, I did a critique for a fellow uh, Writer's Village member, and I wrote a little bit of a free write um, for The Perk, which is my online writing group that's very um, low uh, pressure, and Bubbles. And I, Bubbles so I did, just went across the screen. So, so, I, I, so I did that. Um, I also have read quite a bit of the First King of Shannara. I've been reading also a book by um, uh, St. Francis de Sales, which I'm enjoying immensely. Um, I found a new podcast to me. She gave us a very, very good review. Yes, um, she did. Her name is, uh, her group's name is, um, oh, is it? Um, it is, let me find it here. I've got it in a different part of my notes. It's called, uh, it's Mama Jem from the Hearts of Wool podcast. Um, her name is Shannon, and she gives a really, really nice um, shout out on her podcast. You should check her out. She's very knowledgeable. I listened she, to that part, but I haven't finished watching the whole podcast. She, she's very knowledgeable. She, she does some beautiful work, and I, I enjoyed her um, podcast immensely, uh, our shout out notwithstanding. She's <laughs> very good. She has been uh, a little active in our thread, and I look forward to seeing her um, activity in the Autism Awareness Cal, if she can find something that she thinks is colorful enough, she mm -hmm. said she would join us. So I hope she does. She has um, 
uh, two little boys, so it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to make something uh, colorful that they would like. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's she's really sweet. I, I'm glad that uh, she. I think you should check her out. She's got her own podcast, and it's very nice. Um, the other group I want. This is not a podcast group. This is just a Ravelry group, and it's the Mumpets group. M U M P I T Z, uh, Mumpets group. And I forgot to put the moderators on. I meant to, but I was kind of rushing. And I'll try to remember to either give it to Talia or put it in later. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a group that's open to anyone who knits, crochets, spins, dyes, or whatever. And the reason, I don't usually uh, mention groups that don't have podcasts, but this group is very friendly. I was there not even 24 hours, I think, before I had a welcome from two moderators and a member. And they were just really sweet. And very enthusiastic. So if you, I know you knit and many of you crochet, you might want to pop over there and see what they're up to. Fair warning, apparently they speak both English I and German. Oh, I you did? did? Okay. Yeah, I I, at least I think, that, yeah, I know you weren't. They do speak English and German. So there they're, are certain threads mm -hmm. where it's completely in German. Yeah, there might be. But if you ask them what they're saying, they'll tell you, I'm sure. Uh, because they do make a point to say that we all work English and German. And you can either use a translator program or you can ask somebody, hey, what does this mean? What does it say? Yes. Um, but they're very, very nice over there. So you might want to check that out. If they, I think they do cow cows and things. I haven't really explored a whole lot over there, but I felt very at home, like within 24 hours. I have enough trouble keeping up in the groups I'm in. I don't need another one. Well, you know, that one was just one of those that struck you, struck me, and I and I picked it up. Uh, we do one. Oh, stitching between the pages, Robin. You need a Ravelry group. FYI. Yeah. Just saying. Okay, so that's about it. That's about it. Okay. We need to sign off because my husband is in the kitchen cleaning up. And He's probably lunch. wondering where we are. I'm wondering where, well, he knows where we are, but I don't want to take too long. So we wish you a wonderful week full of every good thing. Oh, we, we Apparently should. our new length is like an hour and a half. Yeah, so we're going to, I won't even say anything about next week's podcast. We will podcast. We will hit whatever length we hit, and I am so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> So we um, wish you... Watch us in segments if you need if to. If you need to. We wish you a very wonderful week full of every good thing and blessing, crafting, whatever it is you enjoy. And we hope to see you next week. This is Pen Hook and Needles Podcast, Episode 155. And that's a wrap. <laughs>